It is not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? All right, so in the case of Matt Damon in Goodwill Hunting, it really wasn't his fault. He was taking advantage of a child, but that's not what I'm talking about. When I say it's not your fault, what I'm talking about is the biggest lie in the fitness industry. And the reason why I say this is because I've been in these circles of some of the biggest marketers, the biggest online entrepreneurs, and what they use on their landing pages, in their copy, uh, you know, in their scripts, is they let you know that it's not your fault that you have not reached your fitness goals yet. And after being a coach for the past 12 years, it realistically is most likely your fault. Now, I say that in jest, but I also say it with um, a sense of purpose because there are some times when people are struggling with things on a metabolic level that are keeping them from getting to their fitness goals. But the reality of the situation is most of the people that I come across are simply not doing the right things. They're not eating right, they're not moving enough, they're not keeping their stress low, they're not sleeping enough, they're not supplementing with things that they should be to get them in metabolic balance. So the reason why I say this and why I bring it up now is because I just did that video about resolutions, right? And when it comes to this, I want you to feel in control of your life. I don't want you to feel like you're waiting for someone else to give you something. I don't want you to feel like you're waiting for something to happen to you. One of the biggest takeaways I took from Awakening the Giant Within, that book that I recommended yesterday, was that it made me feel in control of my life. I felt like I was happening to life. Life was not happening to me. It gave me a sense of purpose. It gave me a sense of certainty that I could go out and achieve my goals. Even if I had failures, even if I had setbacks, even if I wasn't reaching my goals as quickly as I wanted to, right? I was bending the world to my will. I was not letting the world happen to me. So when someone tells you it's not your fault, I don't like that. I like to take responsibility for my actions. I like to take responsibility for life, my life. I like to think that, you know, this is a debated topic, <laughs> but that fate is in my hands to the extent that I can make it, okay? So that's what I want you to walk away with. If you're hearing those things in the resolution copy and the landing pages, and the ads from fitness entrepreneurs, I just want you to take a step back and not think, hey, it's not my fault, it's just this one thing I have to change. It's a lot of things you may have to change, right? This is not one thing, this is your life, this is your health, this is your future. So I, again, just recommend you read that book and I want you to feel like you can take control of your life, take control of your goals this year and go out with a sense of certainty that you are going to achieve those goals. Take action, y'all, next time.